What's up, Aries? Aries, Aries gang. I have Aries in my chart, right? Aries, I love you. This is your February love reading. Aries, let's see what's going on. Let's see what messages Spirit has for you. Happy Valentine's Day, Aries. Happy Valentine's Day. All right. Happy Black History Month. All right. Aries singles. We're going to do Aries singles first, then Aries couples, and then I'm going to go down the list from Aries to Pisces. Listen out for the signs that you are currently interested in at the end of the video, okay? Those will be quick, direct, straight to the point messages. Keep in mind, because these are general um, readings and not personal readings, all right, everything is not going to resonate, all right? I'm picking up on different energies, all right? So y'all take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't force it if it's not your story, all right? take what resonates leave what doesn't all right cool all right keep in mind that these are gender neutral okay these are not gender specific because like i said they are not personal readings all the information for where you can find me um for a personal reading is in the description box below you can reach out to me on instagram or you can email me you can also check out some of my reviews from my personal clients on instagram as well all right all the prices for my current offers are listed on Instagram as well. I am only doing phone readings right now. Email readings have been put on hold. We are only doing phone readings currently, all right? My availability is open. Y'all reach out to me and we could set up something. So, Aries singles, let's see what's going on. Spare what messages do you have for my Aries that are currently single regarding love and romance? What love messages do you have for my Aries that are currently single in the month of February? Two more shuffles for Aries singles. We got the mugwort burning. Y'all already know we about to get into this. We about to get the tea. Cross watches, you all welcome, but don't come into my comments with no bullshit, all right? Cross watches, you all welcome. Everyone is welcome here or genders or races or, you know sexual orientation everybody is welcome all right so aries singles you showing up as someone that's very logical right now in the month of february here you are looking good aries king of wands energy very fiery all right there you are some of y'all could be connected to a pisces or a leo all right somebody here is like night and day or they view you this way aries What's going on here? We got the sun. We got the moon side by side. Mm, this is some duality, okay? Some of y'all could be connected to a Virgo. I feel like you want to talk to this person. Aries, I see here that you want to communicate to somebody, baby. You unhappy because you two are not talking. You are not speaking right now with this person, and this makes you very unhappy. You want to talk to them. Yeah, you feel like this person has given up on you, okay? You feel like they just, like, disconnected from you. You don't really know what happened. Aries, I feel like you confused. So it's like you was connected with somebody, and then they kind of, like, ghosted you. Person could be a Libra, queen of sports energy. That's typical Libra shit. This Libra ghosted you, okay? And now you want to talk to them. You hurt. They cut you off. What happened? Yeah. Also, this person could be a Virgo, okay? Or have strong Virgo in their chart. Picking up on Virgo as well. All right, but you missed them. You missed them and you want to talk to them. You've, you've deeply burdened by this. You hurt by the fact that you and this person is not talking. All right, Aries, here you are, baby, showing up as the full reverse. All right, you feeling unstable. You feeling weak right now, tired, drained. Some of y'all working too damn much as well. Relax, Aries, okay? I know y'all are very goal-oriented people. Y'all don't like to rest, okay? I know y'all have a lot of energy, a lot of stamina. Y'all get up early. Y'all be ready to start y'all day. A lot of y'all are very active. You know what I'm saying? You probably work out, and then right after that, you just work. It's like nonstop, nonstop. Aries, relax, okay? Make sure that you take some time out to just breathe, chill out. You know, you don't have to do everything so quickly and all at once. It's it's going to be all right. Everything going to be all right, Aries. You know, I know time is of the essence, baby. I know time is money, but also your health, okay, is important, all right? Your health is very important. You have to make sure that you are not burning yourself out, 
All right, that's a side message I got for y'all. And for some of y'all, I see here that you are clearing the air with a person that you was arguing with in the past. This person could be a fire sign like you, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I see a peace offering here. All right, yeah. After not communicating, again, holding back, all right, you guys are able to clear the air, release some burdens, okay? You don't want no smoke. I feel like this person don't want no beef. They don't want no smoke with you either, Aries. All right. Yeah, because this was a missed opportunity in the past, all right? Somebody here got rejected or whatever. They felt like this person wasn't really communicating directly, all right? And Aries, you hate that shit because Aries, I know that you are very straightforward, very direct. And I feel like this person wasn't upfront with you. Also, they, they was hot in the fact that they had somebody else on the side is what I'm seeing here. Yeah. There was a third party here and they wasn't really expressing the fact that there was somebody else. And that pissed you off. And that's why you two had this tension had this conflict and then you just withdrew right you withdrew from this person they withdrew from you you guys lost touch out of sight out of mind type shit but now i see in the month of february you guys are communicating again and you clearing it yeah there's no beef i'm seeing a reconciliation here with the world card all right I do have a reconciliation with the Ace of Pentacles in the world. I feel like you guys are reconnected in the month of February. Also have the Ace of Wands. For many of you, you manifesting this person back into your life. Y'all might fuck around and have some makeup sex. All right, I'm just keeping it a stack. I have a lot of um sexual energy here for you too. A lot of sexual energy here. But I don't really see you openly expressing any love here. So it's like more physical than anything. It's not really like I'm in love with you. Let's be together. It's more so... All right, we good now. All right, so what's what's going on? Like, where we where we meeting at? I'm coming to your crib, you coming to mine type of thing. That's what I'm seeing here. So for some of you, this probably already started off like that. It was just a physical connection. You feel me? Like, it was just from day one. Y'all could have just had some friends with benefit type uh, situation here. That's what I'm seeing here. This is really like a situation ship is what I'm seeing here. All right, you worry about this person. I feel like you overthink about them, especially at night. You you don't really sleep. You watching them too. Page of Swords here. You watching this person. All right, you watching this person celebrate and shit. They having a good time. And you like, yo, I can't believe this person is the nine of pentacles and they don't need me. So Aries, you a little upset that you a little salty. All right, I feel like you a little salty that this person is out doing their thing. And they, they ain't really got you to think about. And if they do, if they are thinking about you, it's not really affecting them in, in like a traumatic way like i don't really feel like this person is like heartbroken you feel me and i feel like that upset you you want them to be as obsessed and as stressed out as you are you like i can't believe you out here you know just living your best life what the fuck yeah you guys have the two of cups reversed so this is an imbalanced connection all right yeah, Aries, you really mad, though. I feel like you watching this person. You mad. Aries, here you are showing up as the Emperor Reverse. You feel like you lost control. You lost control. So you was controlling this situation at one point, and now you feel like you lost control because this person pulled back from you. For many of y'all, y'all getting y'all wish, y'all manifesting this person back into your life. You getting the cheeks again, all right? I feel like you getting D again, whatever. I feel like y'all going fuck. I'm just keeping it in the stack. All right, y'all coming back into each other's lives. There's no smoke, no beef. Y'all clearing the air. There's no more conflict here in the month of February. Yeah, y'all putting that shit to rest. For some of y'all, I'm also seeing here that you could have just broke up with a Scorpio as well. Every singles, you could have just disconnected from the Scorpios, what I see here. Or a Libra, all right? Or a Sagittarius, or a Capricorn. Damn, mad people here. This, this person could have all of that in their chart. All right, and you don't want to hear them. You don't want to be bothered. This person don't really want to hear what you got to say. I see here like somebody has threw up their hands. They said, fuck it. This person could have actually moved too. Moved away, you know, relocated, changed their environment, changed their scenery. They got the hell out of Dodge. And I'm also seeing here that someone could have um, went towards somebody that they viewed was their soulmate. This person could have been a Gemini as well. I feel like if you are connected to a Gemini, though, there's a lot of deception around this. A lot of lies and deception. Someone here could be lying about a Libra. So a Libra could be a third party and they could be lying about this. All right. So, yeah. Y'all take what resonates, leave what doesn't. All right. I know I picked up on multiple storylines, so I know everything is not going to resonate. All right. So that was Aries singles. Let's see what's going on for the Aries that are in relationships in the month of February. Spirit. The sage is going out now. Spirit, what messages do you have for the Aries that are in relationships and partnerships in the month of February? 
three more shuffles for my Aries that are in relationships in the month of February. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries that are in relationships? And I am using the Deviant Moon uh, tarot deck in case anybody was wondering. I get all the tea with this deck. This deck don't spare no feelings. I love it. All right. <laughs> all right. Aries couples, communication needs to happen. You two need to talk. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio, or somebody with um, a water moon is what I just heard. So if this person, person <laughs> is Mercury retrograde, I can't talk. Y'all got to bear with me. But for some of you, this person could either be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces sun, or they could have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces highly aspected in their chart, whether that be their rising or their moon. Aries, that could also be you as well. All right. But what I'm seeing here is you two fight a lot. We have the five of wands here. We have the we have conflict here. I'm also seeing here that you guys could be fighting over intimacy. What's going on with this? Fighting about something in the bedroom. What the fuck? Why y'all fighting? What y'all fighting about? Yeah, oh my God. So, Aries, somebody ain't fulfilling you, right? Aries, I know you like, I know, I, I know you, Aries. I know you. Y'all like to get down, right? I'm just going to leave it at that. And maybe your partner is not fulfilling you. They not really living up to your expectations. You unfulfilled. Yeah, Aries, you stepping the fuck out. Y'all showing up as the Knight of Wands. So, for many of y'all, if y'all haven't already cross watches. I ain't got time for your shit, all right? You you came here, come here with an open mind. Some of y'all getting cheated on, all right? Straight like that. Some of y'all getting cheated on. Aries is showing up as the Knight of Wands, so they probably out here looking for somebody else to fulfill their sexual needs. I'm just saying, all right? I'm, I'm just saying. Somebody here is not putting it down. Somebody here not putting out. They not, they not fulfilling their partner sexually, period. All right, I got the four of wands reversed here and I got the two of cups reversed. So there's a breakup, a separation on the horizon possibly. And with the two of cups reversed, this is symbolic of um, uh, unrequited unrequited love okay someone here is giving more than the other okay this is just like someone not being fulfilled and i see you two separating i also see here with the yeah and there's a lot of codependency here too like yo who y'all dealing with aries i feel like whoever you could connect it to all right your partner is like codependent on you they be all over you and shit like that they may have low self-esteem i feel like the person that you connected to be putting other women down or putting other men down because they insecure like ew that's corny. I don't like. I don't like shit like that. Um, Aries, I see you moving away from this motherfucker. <laughs> I feel like you traveling to your side joint to keep it a stack. I feel like a lot of y'all are traveling towards somebody else that y'all y'all feel like could put it down. For some of y'all, y'all going towards a Libra. Libra's about that. You understand what I'm saying? Libra about that. Some of y'all could be going towards a Cancer or a Libra. That's, you know, putting in that work, all right? Because your partner ain't doing what they supposed to be doing. This person is somebody from your past that you already know. <laughs> it be like that sometimes. It really be like that. That's fucked up, but it be like that, all right? I'm also seeing here for some of you, you want to leave this person, but you feel like you can't. Why you feel like you can't? All right, somebody here is growing irritated, irritable. Y'all better be careful with these people that y'all connected to. I see a lot of pettiness here, okay? A lot of disappointment and sadness. I feel like your partner um, be like talking down to you and shit like that. They could be an age difference here as well. Somebody here could be older than the other person and be talking at them instead of with them and to them. They be talking at them and shit, like pointing their fingers and shit. Aries, this person could be treating you like a child at times, the way they talk to you and shit like that. Aries, I know you ain't feeling that. Yeah. And some of y'all, y'all want to leave, but y'all indecisive. Y'all not committed to this person. Y'all over here watching other people that y'all like, all right? And fucking other people that y'all like. Yeah, three of cups reverse, the tower card. I feel like this breakup is only a matter of time. Yeah, there's a separation here, only a matter of time. Aries, you may get caught, baby. I'm just keeping it a stack. With this moon reverse, you may end up getting caught. Court, all right your partner may end up catch you they may catch you slipping and if they watching this reading and they definitely probably gonna catch your ass slipping because i'm spilling the beans but i just feel like you're not committed to this person high front reverse aries you could have strong taurus in your chart as well i just heard taurus venus somebody could have a taurus venus aries you could have a taurus venus but i feel like you're not really committed to this person you're not feeling them for some of y'all y'all just i don't know why y'all with them <laughs> like but 
y'all ain't really feeling the person that y'all with there's unhappiness in the home all right and aries you showing up as somebody that's cold and detached some of y'all could be dealing with a gemini a libra or an aquarius yeah, strong Gemini here. This person don't want to let you go, though. They want to work on things with you. They actually view you as a fucking trophy. So, like, for some of y'all, again, with that low self-esteem and talking down on other people, I feel like this partner, your partner has such a low self-esteem. And Aries, you look good, right? You look good, mama or papa, whatever. Aries, men, Aries, women, I just feel like y'all fire as fuck. And your partner view you as a trophy. They like so happy that somebody that look like you want them. This is ridiculous. Yeah. And this unhappiness in the home. Some of you, there may be children involved in this situation. You two may share a child together. Okay. It's a child in the home, but there's a lot of deception here, Aries. And that deception is your ass because you out here getting yours elsewhere because you're not fulfilled. Aries couples, listen, y'all figure that out. I just told somebody business and uh, I ain't got time for the bullshit. Cross watcher, you watching my channel, you mad. I don't know what to tell you, baby. You should have came here with an open mind, all right? If it's not your story, then you shouldn't get mad, all right? If it's not your story, it's not your story. But that's somebody's story. That's somebody's story. All right, Aries the Pisces, listen out for the signs that you are currently interested in. These are going to be quick messages. My leg is falling asleep. My leg falling asleep, y'all. My leg, my foot. I'm like, let me change positions. Change position, baby. New position. New position. Stroke it for me. That's what Aerie said. Stroke it for me. Because they said they partner ain't stroking it right. <laughs> Yo, Aries, y'all funny. I love y'all. I really do. I love me and Aries. Yes, I do. Aries women and Aries men. Y'all, y'all my... I fuck with y'all. I fuck with y'all OD. I'm an Aries rising, so y'all already know what time it is. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Aries, you dealing with another Aries in the month of February, baby. Aries dealing with Aries in the month of February. Spirit, what messages do you have for the Aries dealing with other Aries in the month of February? All right, some indecision here. Somebody is indecisive. Aries dealing with other Aries. There's betrayal here. And spying. Y'all spying on one another. Yeah, there's a third party here. Third party could be a Libra. All right. Or you could be making an offer to a Libra and lying to your partner about this. Y'all got Libras coming up left and right. Aries, y'all love y'all some Libras, huh? Y'all know opposites attract. Aries is the opposite sign of Libra. So, there you have it. Aries, you're dealing with a Taurus in the month of February. Aries and Taurus connections in the month of February. Aries dealing with Taurus in the month of February. Spirit, what messages do you have for the Aries that are dealing with Taurus in the month of February? We have blocked communication, so somebody had blocked the other person or they just ignoring them. All right, they said, ain't nothing to cut that bitch off. All right, I feel like somebody getting cut off. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles reverse, missed opportunity. You two were fighting a lot in the past, disagreeing, okay, a lot of conflict here. Someone was juggling, had a third party, and they got cut off. Simple as that. Aries and Taurus, there was a third party here. Somebody got cut off, y'all broke up, got blocked, separation, straight like that. Aries... You're dealing with a Gemini, Aries and Gemini connections in the month of February, Aries and Gemini, Aries and Gemini, okay, right on now, let's see, somebody here is juggling, okay, somebody here got somebody on the side, they got a side piece, yep, got a side piece, y'all better make sure y'all don't get this person pregnant though, alright, you better make sure you don't get your side piece pregnant, Aries, I'm also seeing a lot of toxic energy here between you and this Gemini, a lot of arguing. Aries, I feel like you miss somebody from your past, and that's who you're going towards. A past person could be um, the third party as well. I see a lot of betrayal here. Also, Aries, be careful. I feel like your partner is getting a, they getting like, um, they intuitively feel like you cheating on them, so they watching you, all right? I feel like you all being spied on, all right? Or Aries, maybe you spying on your Gemini, all right? Y'all apply the rules as y'all see fit. But I'm just reading it the way I'm seeing it. So somebody here is being watched. Because they partner intuitively know that they're cheating on them. Or they're interested in somebody from their past. All right. Somebody got really mad.
sad that I just gave that message. That's mad funny. Somebody here got so upset that I just gave that message. Y'all, listen, don't be getting mad at me. Y'all know I record on my phone and my phone just slammed right the fuck down and some of my cards flew. Um, <laughs> somebody is mad. Good thing it wasn't the deck that I'm using. It was another deck. I'll pick those up later. But somebody here got mad just now that I gave that message. And I just got cold. My arms got cold. Listen, I don't care. Like, y'all already know what it is. Y'all know I'm the truth teller. Y'all better read my reviews on Instagram. I ain't got time to be sugarcoating shit. Like, fuck that. You getting cheated on, that's just that's just what it is. Like, you going to be with that person or you're not going to be with them? Like, don't get mad at me because I'm telling. Aries, <laughs> who was that? Gemini? Yeah, Gemini, you mad? Like, get over that shit. All right, Aries. Or maybe Aries, you mad because I'm telling on you. I don't fucking know. Aries, you dealing with a cancer in the month of Feb. All right, patience is needed in this situation. I see communication between you two. All right, someone here is expressing their feelings openly and honestly. All right, I have the Ten of Cups here, all right, and I have the Queen of Cups. Cancer is in love with you, Aries. They love you. They was disappointed in your behavior in the past. They felt like you were very controlling. Aries, here you are showing up as the fool. Aries, I feel like you withholding, all right, your offer, but this Cancer is ready to be with you. So Cancer is, they ready. They ready. They want this. But Aries, I just feel like you're not on board, baby. You a little he you hesitating. You hesitating. Like you don't really know if you want this cancer. But the cancer is ready for you. So Aries, the ball is in your court in that situation, baby. But cancer wants you. All right. I'm just laughing about what just happened. Somebody got mad. How y'all wanna fight me? Like, I'm just a messenger. Shit, I ain't nobody. I'm just a messenger. Aries, you dealing with a Leo? Aries dealing with Leos. Aries dealing with Leos in the month of February. All right, I just heard Rihanna's song, You the One That I Dream About All Day. So maybe that's how y'all feel about each other. Aries, you dealing with a Leo, all right? I feel like there was some problems in the past. Someone here was non-committal, all right? And they moved on from this situation. But somebody here is still holding on. They don't want things to end. Aries, I feel like you could be holding on to this Leo. You don't want things to end between you two. For some of you, you share a home with this person, share a child with this person. All right, let's see what the outcome is. Outcome for Aries and Leo. Somebody here is being, like, dismissive. I feel like it's the more feminine energy in this situation, all right? All right, y'all gonna be fine. Aries and Leo, y'all gonna be just fine. Y'all gonna be just fine. I really, I, I see that here. I see a new offer being made, a commitment being made. Aries and Leo, y'all fine. All right, Aries. You're dealing with a Virgo. Aries and Virgos in the month of February, Spirit. What messages do you have for my Aries that are dealing with Virgos in the month of February? Aries dealing with Virgos in the month of February. All right. Virgo, here you are. First card out. I feel like you holding back your offer. You're not giving an offer. You holding back communication as well. Someone here is very cold, very detached. Could have strong air in their chart too. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their chart. I'm also seeing a lot of conflict between you two, Aries and Virgo. All right. Yeah. You two may live together, share a home together. All right. But I just feel like someone here is like cold and distant. They hard to connect with. I'm also seeing trust issues here between you two. And someone here spies on the other person. So Aries, you could be spying on this Virgo. Or this Virgo could be spying on you. But you two do not trust each other. Even if y'all live in the same home, I just feel like y'all don't trust each other. Somebody here could probably have like cameras and shit up. Y'all dealing with somebody that's a little cuckoo. <laughs> All right, Aries, you dealing with a Libra? Aries dealing with Libras. Aries dealing with Libras. First card out. Let's see. Ooh, manifestation. Somebody here is trying to manifest some shit. What's going on here? The woman in the situation is holding back her feelings. 
I feel like y'all being very secretive, though, with this moon card. Yeah, y'all doing something sneaky. I'm picking up some sneaky energy. Your five of swords here, the moon card, the star. Yeah, y'all being very sneaky. I see communication here, though, and I see someone here is juggling, all right? So one of y'all could be committed to someone already, or both of y'all could both have partners, all right? But y'all sneaking, y'all talking to each other. So, yeah, Aries, here you are showing up as the emperor. Yeah, third-party energy here. I knew it. Yeah, y'all both, like... Y'all sneaking to talk to each other. Aries and Libra, y'all shady as fuck. Y'all mad sneaky. Point blank, period. Y'all manifesting one another and y'all sneaking and doing shit y'all ain't got no business doing. And somebody here is connected to somebody else. They got a partner already. It could be both of y'all that got partners and y'all just having a, an affair, right? I don't fucking know. That's what I saw. Aries, you dealing with a Scorpio. Aries and Scorpio in the month of February. Aries and Scorpio in the month of February. All right, I see betrayal here. What happened? Somebody here feels betrayed. I see sadness, depression. I see lies. Okay, sneaking, deception. Yeah, what the fuck? Like, Aries and Scorpio, no good, baby. This connection is a burden. Someone here is tired and drained. Scorpio still want this. They want to work together with you, Aries. Aries, I feel like you cutting them off. You don't want them. The lovers reverse, Queen of Swords. The woman in this situation, the more feminine situ the more feminine energy in this situation is cutting it off. Making the decision to no longer get to this. All right, Aries. Who was that? That was Scorpio. Aries, you're dealing with a Sagittarius in the month of February. Aries and Sagittarius in the month of February. Spare, what messages do you have for my Aries? Dealing with Sagittarius in the month of February, please. All right, celebration, good times, good vibes, good energy. Yeah, y'all working together, y'all want this. Yeah, someone here was worried in the past that this wouldn't work out, but in the month of February, y'all gonna be all right. Yep, happiness here, the sun card. Y'all gonna be just fine, all right? No need to worry. Your man is back, your woman is coming back. All right. Aries, you dealing with a Capricorn? Aries and Capricorn connections? In the month of February, spare. What messages do you have for my Aries dealing with Capricorns in the month of February? Aries dealing with Capricorns in the month of February. All right, you guys have the Four of Wands here. You two could be married, okay? Or getting married, getting engaged. Someone here could be getting proposed to. Congratulations, all right? You guys have trust issues, though. So, like, what's going on with this? Why y'all don't trust each other? Somebody here don't even have no reason to not trust the, the other person. Y'all don't trust each other because y'all not having sex. What the fuck is going on? Aries and Capricorn. Let me see if I can get down to the bottom of this. Classify this. Aries and Capricorn. Y'all spying on each other too. Y'all soulmates though. Aries and Capricorn, y'all got some soulmate energy here. Yeah. Y'all, oh shit, y'all could be karmic partners though. I feel like y'all in a cycle, y'all live together, okay? Could have children as well. I'm seeing a family situation here. But I have the tower card. Clarify the tower card for Aries and Capricorn. Yeah, oh shit. Y'all don't want to give to this anymore. So that took a turn, all right? Some of y'all are already in a relationship, already married to this person, all right? But Aries and um Capricorn, I just feel like... It's coming to an end. For some of you, this shit is coming to an end because of the trust issues. And I also feel like Aries and Capricorn, someone here is very cold and detached with this King of Swords reverse. Somebody here is hard to connect with on an emotional level. They're very detached. That could be Capricorn, right? Shit, it could be Aries too. Who knows? But Aries and Capricorn, y'all figure that out. Aries, you dealing with a um, Aquarius? Aries and Aquarius in the month of February. Aries dealing with Aquarius in the month of February. Spirit, what messages do you have for the Aries that are dealing with Aquarius in the month of February? Aries dealing with Aquarius. All right, communication here with the Hermit Reverse. All right. I feel like there's divine intervention at play here. You two need to communicate. You guys are holding back how you feel. Somebody here is not expressing how they feel to the other person. All right. 
you guys need to release some toxic energy. Toxic energy could be a family member is what I'm seeing. Yeah, could be a Virgo, a Capricorn, a Sagittarius, or a Scorpio. That's in the mix. All right, this could be a family member or a friend that needs to mind a damn business. I'm just keeping it a stack. All right, I see happiness here for you too, though. The world card. Yeah, y'all good. Aries and Aquarius, y'all good. I just, I feel like y'all need to stop telling people y'all business. All right, that's what I got here. Somebody here not minding their business, whether that's a friend or family member or both. All right. Aries, you dealing with a Pisces in the month of February. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries dealing with Pisces in the month of February? Aries and Pisces in the month of February. Aries and Pisces in the month of Feb. All right. Aries dealing with Pisces in the month of February. All right. Communication is blocked. What happened? You guys are not talking. But someone here felt betrayed in the past. They It's taking a long time for them to get over this shit. They still disappointed with the way things happen between you two. Aries and Pisces. All right, someone here is keeping tabs on the other person via social media. Yo, y'all are like stalkers. People be spying on people and making fake profiles and shit. I'm seeing the reason why you two didn't work out in the past is because somebody here was a player. They was non committal. They was out acting single, talking to multiple people. Could have possibly been sleeping with these people as well. Yep. Aries, this could have been you, baby. I'm just, that's, I just got to be honest. I got to say what I see. Okay. And someone here detached and went cold. All right. King of Swords reversed. Ten of Pentacles reversed. All right. The foundation fell apart. The relationship fell apart. In the month of February, though, I see someone returning. All right. Aries, I feel like this Pisces is returning to you. They miss you. They want to be with you again. They want to work on this again. Yeah, this Pisces want to work on things again. They don't want to let this end. Yeah, the tower reversed. They can't accept the fact that things are over. Despite what happened between you two, they just can't accept the fact that things are over. So I feel like it was some crazy shit that happened between you two as far as like infidelities and stuff like that. But Pisces can't let go. They can't release you, Aries. They just can't. All right, Aries, that was your February love reading. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that the messages resonated. Again, take what did, leave what didn't. If it don't apply, let it fly, all right? Make sure to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Share this video with your family and friends. Share my channel with your family and friends. Make sure to drop a comment if you wish, okay? Subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notification bell so you can be notified when I drop new content. Love you, Aries. I hope you have a successful February. Till next time, peace.